V or use my move tool and yeah alright that's looking pretty cool um, just a couple more uh, effects real quick um, I might even consider changing the the bottom to white and I'll show you why in a minute because I, I like uh, the kind of the comic looking black stroke so in order to do that you're gonna right click excuse me I'll just go back and show you you're gonna right click go to blending options and then here we're gonna go color overlay and very simply you're gonna click on your color picker box it's gonna open up your color palette and you can go up to just straight up white and that looks fine on anything besides a transparent background that's gonna show up just fine um, again if you just need a reference point go ahead and create yourself a new layer like there's no there's no rules to this you can do whatever the hell you want so uh, you could create a new layer and then I'm just going to alt delete and fill that with my foreground color and now you can see it on, on a background like that then from here I'm going to go back and work on my high haters, uh, my actual text port, and I'm going to again right click, blending options, and let's play with, uh, let's try a stroke on here, alright, it's not looking too bad, maybe a little, maybe a little thicker, so that's just too much of a, uh, of an obvious outline right now, four is not really working for me, and this is really like, this is Photoshop, like, I mean, you just kind of mess around until you get something that, uh, that you like, um, play around with it and really like that's experimentation is the key if you're not going to take the time to experiment with new things then you're, you're in the wrong profession hobby what have you so um that's looking good right there and i'm going to add a drop shadow to this but i'm going to actually let's see let's see if i like sometimes the drop shadow works on um on it and sometimes i like to create a new layer so check this yeah I think in this instance it's going to be best to create a new layer uh, the drop shadow is probably one of the weakest of the the, uh, the layer styles I don't use it um, often but sometimes it's just again it's all about efficiency so if you can get something done uh, in a good manner quickly then that's then I'm all for it so uh, now I'm just going to add a little shadow to this, and in order to do that, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to right click, duplicate that layer, my top layer of text, and then I'm just going to clear uh, the layers, the layer style, and you can actually do that by right, right clicking and then clear layer style, and that's going to take away all the layer styles that we had applied to before. Um, we're going to go ahead and drag this layer underneath our radiated text so you can't really see it right now but we're gonna change that we're gonna move it um, V or with our move tool and then I just use the you can just use the arrow keys to to nudge it over but here I'm just gonna show you like a an exaggerated example see how that kinda gives it uh, just a nice a nice shadow like that it wouldn't have uh, had before see the difference I mean I think it makes a world of difference but um, and then um, you can even play around with it some more obviously I'm just giving you a basic uh, basic idea like if you want to rasterize the layer and then add just maybe like a uh, like a slight feather or a blur to it you can come up to filter blur go down to Gaussian blur and let's up the radius of it and there you can see the difference it's just a little bit more subtle it's not as hard uh, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and add a half tone to that, or you know, anything, anything really. Um, change all the colors up because, like I said, there it's all pretty easy with the uh, with the blending options. You can just go back and you know, if you just want to change, if you didn't like that gradient, you come back and put a different gradient on it. I mean, it works with with everything, and like you get lots of different variations uh, quickly. That actually looks kind of cool. Um, so I'll stick with that. Um, but that is uh, is pretty much it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. I hope uh, I've kind of inspired you to go out and create something on your own. Uh, again, if you want to email me with any uh, questions, comments, or concerns, ideas for uh, future tutorials, what have you, or really, um, if you could just hit up the Facebook page and like it, leave me a comment, become a fan, you know, 
uh, all that good stuff, I'd really appreciate it, and um, I'll keep coming to you with, uh, with more of these tutorials, so uh, good luck, and have a great day, talk to you later, peace.